Real Trees Midwest Whitetail is brought to you by RTP Outdoors, Redneck Blinds, Hoyman Tree Saws, Cuddyback, Ozonics, Nikon, Easton Arrows, America's Best Bowstrings, Viking Solutions, and Real Tree Edge. Hunt with an edge. So we're out here today trying to make uh, one of my really good spots a little bit better. Um, this spot was kind of a natural one where there was some old cattle fence that was left up. And we're actually going to fix the cattle fence even though usually I'm tearing the fence down and getting rid of the cows. But we're going to patch it back up and it forces them right through this opening right here and we've got corn and we've got timber over this way and we've got a tree stand about 10 yards over here and we're just going to fill in some of this uh, food plot uh, i seeded some big and beastie earlier and we're going to add a couple more things to it now but um, we're just going to fix this fence seed some things and uh, have this dialed in so we can access the stand without anything knowing it and uh, we're just using a little advantage of a an existing fence that was here to uh, to funnel them right by our stand. So there's the end of the, um, the fence right there. There was actually an old gate there and my tree stands up in that bur oak. It's really hidden and secluded because all the different limbs going out there. So we're just repairing a cattle fence. I like rain, but the day after rain, hot weather, and barbed wire, it's not very much fun. I'm ready for deer season. <laughs> so we're right next to the fence where we put the uh, fix the barbed wire fence. We're getting eaten alive by flies and it's way too hot, but I want to show you something we did on the food plots. And this is an example of where I've rotated this back and forth between brassicas and autumn quick plot. And I'll plant uh, about 40% of the plot to brassicas, big and beastie, 40% to autumn quick plot, and then I have 20% in clover. But you can see right here, this is all the, um, the winter wheat and winter rye. And then I drilled through this and we've had really poor rain, but, uh, this is actually germinating real nice just because it's got so much mulch on top. So I'm gonna put this into brassicas and then later I'll probably um, frost seed it into clovers again. And uh, really these brassicas are doing great for, for the very little rain we've had and it's gonna be pretty much weed free because we've just rotated it back and forth and it's just a perfect system just like corn and beans. So it's looking really good so far. So we got eaten by flies, beat up by barbed wire but our fence is done, intercede a little bit of brassicas and I'm gonna come back for um, some autumn quick plot in a, in a week or two. Um, trimmed up our stand and uh, we've got three different food sources here. So hopefully this spot at a minimum translates into a bunch of dose for the freezer. And uh, I really think we get a good shot. It looks fantastic out here. So um, we'll keep you updated and thanks again for watching Midwest Whitetail. <laughs>